We're gonna go ahead and start this video off. Bro, I got freaking bit by something. Check it out, dude. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Are you kidding me? Long story short, went to the doctor, they cut it open, and now it's a lot better. But I just feel like I had to say that. What is going on, everybody? This is Strydox here, bringing you another Lord's Mobile video. Dude, it has been so long since I've actually edited and uploaded a video. What am I doing? But let me tell you something, we don't have time to waste. So let's go ahead and get into this video in under eight minutes. I'm going to try to explain as much as I can, show you the most that I can for you to be the best Lords Mobile player as you can be. So let's get into the video. So this is going to be really quick, so bear with me. Majority of you already know this, okay? But again, this is mainly for the new players. Only make one farm. This farm? right here only make one do not make a freaking don't make two don't make three or four only make one farm as far as your other resources wood stone uh or things like that you can kind of even them out across the board unless you're going to make a hyper farm meaning hyper farm you only make pretty much one type of resource you build like all of uh all of ore or all of stone because then in that case you'll be producing so much ore so much stone so much uh wood an hour it is ridiculous that's called hyper farming but if you're trying to become like a make a main account just disperse your uh your resource buildings evenly and make one farm now as far as your three special buildings your special buildings consist of your prison your battle hall and your altar these buildings here require 200,000 gems each <laughs> to get these to level 25. So, the top left hand corner, way up there, those gems, you need to save 600, roughly around 600,000 gems to get these three buildings to level 25. And you need these three buildings to get T4s. So save your gems and do not gem troops at all until you get your T4s. It's going to be rough and it's going to be boring, I know, but trust me, man, if you're a free-to-play player, 600k gems is a lot, man. It's going to take you a long time, so start saving. Now, Colosseum varies big time, depending on who you're going against, but I am able to stay roughly around the, like, 75 to 125 Colosseum rank. And I do this by using these main heroes. Now, again, it varies. You have so many heroes to choose from, but my main heroes that I use, like, pretty much 90% of the time are the ones you see up here. Black Crow, Prima Donna, Big Guy, Rose Knight, and Tracker. These heroes right here that I've, that I've just called out, these got me so far just alone, just by using them only. So if I had a recommendation of what heroes to start working on, these are your heroes right here, guys. Because once you reach the top uh, 5,000, you start getting gems. And right now, I'm sitting at like 100. So every three hours, I'm getting 135 gems. It is worth getting your heroes up. I get a lot of questions asking, Stratox, should I rush my castle to 25? The answer to that is yes. Not only does your castle change a different color and it just looks freaking awesome, you're also able to send out more troops in attacks and gathering resources. So as it states here, you can send out five waves of troops, okay? Five waves of troops, max army size, 200,000 troops per wave of troops you send out. That will come in handy so much in, in attacking and being able to gather resources. And your max health, you can send out 30 helps a day, man. I mean, look at this. Your helps right here on your guild, you can send out 30. Help all. Boom. More guild coins that you get up top. Now again, this varies, but this is what I've been using for a long time. Only build one barracks. Some people have two, some people have three. But look at it this way. You have one barracks. You make 5,000 troops. In two days, you make 10,000 troops. In three days, you make 15,000 troops. Wouldn't you rather have troops every day being made instead of every three days? Yes, technically it's the same amount of troops, but it takes a little bit longer to make those amount of troops. So in three days, you'll make 15,000 troops. In one day, with only one barracks, you'll make 5,000 troops. I'd rather have 5,000 troops every day instead of making 15,000 troops every three days. That's just me. Now, as far as gear goes, go ahead, click your workshop, go to all equipment, 
go to over here under the accessories part of the ring here and then scroll down and you'll see your lunar flute and your sentinel circlet these are big big deals in lord's mold because they help your construction speeds and they help your research speeds which will take a lot of time off your buildings and will take a lot of time off your research Time is money, man. In order to make a sentinel circlet, you have to start from scratch. Start from your normal. You have to farm. You have to go to these resource tiles and get fit and find linen in the fields, okay? You have to make a you have to find a bunch of them, okay, just to get it to gold. Once you get these to gold, then you can make the maxed upgraded sentinel, which gives you a 25% on construction speed. Other resources you have to you have to farm from is rocks, you have to get copper coil. Okay, and then you go over here to metal, which is from Rich Vein. Lunar Flutes is the same thing, except for it gives you a big research boost. You have to farm Rich Veins, which would give you coal. You have to farm rocks, which give you platinum, and you have to farm woods that give you feathers. All of these materials are made to make uh, Lunar Flutes. So as far as equipment and gear goes, get these two. These are huge for getting your buildings and your research up. Now, as far as your talent tree goes, you need to focus on construction and research speed on the right side over here, on the right side of the talent tree. You have your construction speed here, research speed here. Max these out. Go down, put two two all the way down until you can't put any more. Then you gotta start putting five, 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 and then you come across the next construction speed two and research speed two. Max these out. Once you have these maxed out, man, Focus on your left side now. Focus on your left side on the training speed right here. Max that out and then max out the training speed down here below. So training speed one, training speed two, construction speed one, construction speed two, research one, research two. Okay, max them out. It'll help you in the long run build in building times. You're getting more troops faster, etc, etc, man. Focus on that. Now, as far as attacking goes, you want to max out your squad offense and then I put three all the way down until I get the squad health. Max out squad health. And then I put five all the way down until I get the squad health. Max out squad health. Once I max out all those, I start maxing out ranged, cavalry, and then infantry. So 50, 50, 50. Once those are maxed out, I have a little bit of talent points left. So I uh, disperse them amongst the next ones, which are the uh, 20s. The 20s right here. Um, I, I make them, I, I disperse them evenly through all of them, which will, it, it'll give me about uh, 10 on cavalry offense, 10 on offense on infantry, and 10 on offense on ranged offense, okay? So, um, again, max out all your squad health, and then max out the 50s right here, and then you should put the rest in the next three above, okay? That's for attacking. And defending, you want to do the exact same thing, except... Um, you want to max out your squad defense and squad health too, okay? That'll help out big time. So your squad health, squad defense on both of them. Squad defense one, squad defense, uh, or uh, squad health one, and then squad health two, squad defense two. Max those out. Now, as far as your resources up top, don't keep a lot of resources up there, man. Don't do it. You have the cargo ship right here. If you see something you like, for example, and they give great speed ups. Look at this. 8 million stone for, for three 15 hour speed ups. Go ahead and convert those. Get rid of the resources up there and convert them into resource packets, okay? These are the packets, convert them into these. Why not? Only use these packets when you need to upgrade something. Don't open all of these at one time. Now when you first start Lord's Bubble, you have skirmishes to beat. You have skirmish one, which is here. Then you got two, three, then you think it is four, five, six, and there's like a seven. Seven's like right here or something, and then this is eight. Once you beat Skirmish 8, you will unlock Treasure Trove, which you'll be able to deposit gems in here. And, and look at this. Look at this, man. I put I put 15,000 gems in the Treasure Trove. In 30 days, I will receive 28,000 gems. So to all you free-to-play players, get the gems to at least 10,000. Once you do that, you can invest in the Treasure Trove, and you'll receive double the payout. It is crazy, man. This is amazing for, uh, for free-to-players. Now, if you're getting bullied and attacked like every single day... sure to use your shelter right here man put your leader do not let your leader get captured put your leader in shelter along with troops that you have i can store 210,000 so that's 200,000 troops that is safe for 12 hours if someone attacks you they're safe those 210,000 plus your leader is safe now you're probably wondering what am i going to do with the other troops that are out and about well right now i'm shielded so i cannot get attacked 
but just say I wasn't shielded. That's when you need to find somebody who is shielded, shield it, go to reinforce, and look at this. He can hold 600,000 troops. Okay, it says it right here when you go to reinforce. There's already 167,000 troops reinforced in him, but he can hold 600,000. Go to reinforce and then auto assemble. Now I can send the rest of my troops there, and if I'm unshielded, if I'm unshielded, then I would not get attacked. I would not get attacked. Or if I'm unshielded, I would get attacked, but I would not lose my troops. As far as excess resources, not only to convert them into packages, but say you messed up and you did open up all your packages. Again, each guild that you have, if you or not that you have, but each guild, you need to have a bank. If you have a bank, go ahead and send the resources to the bank. The bank must re be shielded at all times. If you're not shielded, other members and other guilds will find your bank and clear the bank out for resources. So, you get, go to your bank, right? Go to send resources and just go ahead and send all your resources, okay? Send all your resources there. And then whenever you need your resources back, all you have to do is message them and then they will send you your resources back. It's that simple. Do not let attackers take your resources for no reason. Keep them in a bank. It works wonders. As far as getting bullied and trash talk, do not trash talk back. If you see someone messaging you talking trash, man, let's see. This guy here, what's up? Welcome to YouTube, bro. No power seven says noob. Okay, bro, whatever. At least just say something back like, love you, bro. Or say something, bro. Say something nice, man. Don't say nothing. Just don't be disrespectful back because that'll stir up other drama. That'll cause guilds get into wars. Unnecessary things that, that, that should never happen. Just be nice back. Be respectful. They trash talk. Who cares? If they trash talk on your diplomacy board, who cares? Who cares if they trash talk on your diplomacy board? Let them, man. That means they know you. You're doing something right. You're doing something wonderful. Just be nice back. Write something nice. That's all it takes, man. No need to be mean. Oh, by the way, TG's recruiting, man. We're looking for some big T4s. We're looking for some big Mike players. If you're wanting war, if you're not afraid to lose troops, baby, let's go. Get in here, man. Get in here in the TG family, bro. We're trying to take out people. Let's go. You can message me online, chat, or in game, man, and we can talk. All right, guys, that is going to do it for the video. I tried to get everything that I possibly could. Obviously, guys, obviously, I left some things out, so you don't have to freaking roast me for it down in the comments. Obviously, I left some things out, but I tried to get the most one of the most important things in Lords Mobile in this video all under possibly eight minutes I'm not exactly sure but I went really fast if you need to rewind it watch it again then do so but I hope this video helped you out guys I really hope it did I'm here to help I'm here to entertain I love you guys man again TG is recruiting some big T4s if y'all are interested please contact my line chat which is Stridox right on the diplomacy board message me in game whatever it may be here's my social medias Stridox plays on all of them. If you have not already, follow me on Snapchat, 100% Snapchat, because I post stories like crazy, and I talk to y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. This is Stridox here. I love y'all so much. Hashtag PAP, Stridefan for life. Oh yeah, by the way, some big news. I have some, uh, some clothing line coming out, and it's not going to be like these hats. They're not going to be expensive, and they will be very, very affordable. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I think y'all are gonna like the t-shirts. I love you guys. Hashtag PAP, Stride Fam for a life. Let's go, baby. Thank y'all so much for watching. Peace.